Hi, we're Robin and Chris, and we're leaving crazy. We're in the process of moving to our retirement home in Italy with our cat, Gino, and the process has proved to be a challenge during the pandemic. Join us as we leave crazy behind and start making our way to Italy. easily he was struggling to get on the top and now he's safely on the top and watching his city what an angel. thank you thank you Martin cheetah cheetah oh, what's going on She's like into smoothies these days, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. There's the, the Duke, babe. This is the place that used to be a bank, right? It looks like it. Nice, and they turned it into a steakhouse. I've got to see the inside. Oh, you can't see through the door? Oh. There's our flower shop over there. There's the cathedral just right there. And I can't, I, I might have to draw that storm drain <laughs> close to this building. Social services. It's Friday and there's nobody around. I gotta tell you, I I can't remember what day it is. I like ever now. Every morning. <laughs> I'm still on gray fryers. You go adventure girl. You go girl. Magistrate's Court only. Oh I love how the steps do this. So many people have walked up these steps that they've just bowed like that. I love that. Yeah. 
this COVID testing center. They're still driving on the wrong side of the road, even over here. Uh, we're getting closer to the new, new place. And uh, Chris just eyeballed this really cool looking place here. Wait a minute. Okay. Still driving on the wrong side of the road. See the ground you're walking on? Yeah. Might be slippery. Look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful green. Our house is over there across from uh, Victoria Park mm -hmm. and the Western University complex over there yeah it's our new neighborhood this is a cute room this is a cute area oh my gosh a lot of shops and Little supermarkets close to home. Nice. It reminds me a little of uh, Lake Arrowhead Village. Just yeah. What a cute little vibe. Yeah. This is cute. Mm -hmm. It's our new neighborhood. That's right here, the red mailbox. <laughs> We are really just steps from the sidewalk right here. And then maybe Gino can have his tower right up there, babe. I think we can get to the shopping district this way instead of going back. Okay. It depends on what store we're going to. These places are so cute. Look at the yellow door. Wait a little. Oh, who's that guy? That's Gino's new neighbor. <laughs> Smoker of some Garden kind? incinerator. Oh. That's your kind of stuff. Yeah, I love it. I get a good snoot in there. <laughs> yeah, that's closer than MS is to us now. Ooh. Walking sticks. It's a kitchen. Open camera, scan the code, place your order. Order now, collect here. Brilliant. about two degrees. 40. Nice. It's beautiful out.
saw these uh, weird lumps in the tree. I mean, they look like monkeys hanging from, but I think it's part of like a branch. A swollen branch or something. Waiting for a good day to happen, you know. Waiting around, the ups and downs, you know. I, I just said, look. It's a pizza delivery from Deliveroo, our first time. It looks really good. It does. Mushrooms and peppers. Look at that. What else did you get? Oh, the caprese salad. Oh, man. Look at that base. <laughs> mm. How long did it take to get here? Oh, man. 15 um, minutes? Yeah, it, it was crazy quick. Okay. Really, seriously. I'm just a walking down the road and the people walking by. They said your phone looks really great. I said thank you. Okay, so we're in full lockdown here and we needed some groceries. So Robin's going to take a walk to the store and I'm going to stay in just to be safe. It's a beautiful day actually today. And there she goes. Close, Rob. So they're delivering Gino's cat food from oh, wow. the veterinarian. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hey. Hi, Mom. Just gonna take a quick picture of the box with you. Hi, Mom. Great. Thank you. You've already had one.
you know, try a Jaffa cake because this is her first taste of a Jaffa cake. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. Yeah, it was like a... It's a, very sweet, like lemon. Has it got lemon in it? It's like an orange juice inside. Mm. No? Mm. If you I could like it my with whole the... life without another morning dogs. Okay, <laughs> put it right there. Okay. I think I'll have mine with coffee. Babe, what is he telling me here? He's telling you that he wants more wet food. Well, he's 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 out of wet food. Yeah, he ate a whole packet this morning, but he's got dry food there and he won't eat it. He's like on a hunger strike. Cheetah, eat your dry food. Cheetah. Want some of this? Want some of that? Okay. <laughs> Oh my God. his conduct while president of the United States and in violation of his constitutional oath faithfully to execute the office of the president of the United States and to the best of his ability preserve protect and defend the Constitution of the United States Donald John Trump engaged in high crimes and misdemeanors by inciting violence against the government of the United States Donald Trump is a living breathing impeachable offense the president's responsibility for the violence and insurrection that occurred last Wednesday cannot go unanswered. He is unrepentant. Congress must act for the good of this country. We need not ask who will be the first to show our courage by standing up to President Trump. The question we must ask, who will be the last? Soon, the clerk will call the roll. Mm. and ask for our votes. Hell yeah. Make no mistake. This will be no ordinary roll call. Vote for this. For America. For our Constitution. For democracy. For history. The eyes are 232. The nays are 197. The re resolution is adopted without objection. The motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Speaker Nancy Pelosi announcing the vote in the House. Uh, 232 members of Congress voting to impeach Donald Trump.